guys, Simcolor here, and today we're going to learn how we can zoom in on a map uh, so that two points become visible. And this is quite useful if you want to make a zoom that's rational and you, you don't want to standardize uh, a zoom for everything, which sometimes makes no sense. So you'll see how it looks in the in the testing, but for now let's write the code here. It is really simple. So. Let's open up the Uber project and go to history single activity or if you're not here for the Uber project go to whatever uh, app you're using and let's scroll down to where we want to zoom in and in our case it will be on routing success. So in here we are going to use uh, a, um, a variable of the type let long bounds dot builder and let's just do that really quick and I'll explain it in a second and it will be equal to new that just initialize this variable let's long bounce dot builder and there's a misplaced parenthesis there but okay now we are going to include both of the um, uh, markers that of both of the positions that we want the map to show so um, I believe you can actually put more, but for for us because we only want the pickup location and the, the destination, then it is irrelevant. So pickup look uh, let long and builder dot include destination let long. Okay, so now we are going to build this builder and it is literally that uh, so let uh, long bounce bounce and this is the as i said the uh, in between which points much the must the ma uh, map show and okay so builder dot build and it is working uh, by now we could uh, uh, make a, a zoom but it will would look uh, a bit off because the markers will uh, would appear right on the side of the screen so touching the, the borders of the screen and that's not what we want so we must play around with a, a bit of padding to make them look a bit nicer so first of all we are going to get the width of the screen and to do that we simply say int width dot, uh, equals to get resources dot get display metrics dot with pixels okay just that and now we are going to calculate the pattern and uh, this may vary depending on what you want and uh, be careful with it because you don't want to make the padding too big otherwise it, uh, the app will, cra uh, will crash so make it reasonable and I'm using uh, a calculation so I make width times 0 0.2 and I believe this width is good it didn't crash on me but you can try go a bit higher or a bit lower if the app is crashing because of this and I'm placing an int uh, I'm making it an int even though I'm multiplying by 0 0.2 which can uh, turn out a, a float or a, a, a decimal uh, number because uh, you are dealing with pixels and pixels are one two three four they are natural numbers they are not <coughs> decimal numbers and because of that we must must ensure that the number is an int okay so then we can call the 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 variable that will actually take care of this for us which is camera up the uh, camera update and we are going to call it camera update equals to and we must import this camera update so alt enter enter so camera update factory dot new let long bounce bounce comma padding and that's it so now we simply okay so Mm, let's do it after. So, in order to do what we want, all you have to do now is to call this uh, variable 
inside uh, a function called uh, animate camera. So nmap dot animate camera and uh, okay, let's just write this. You can use uh, I can't remember which is the name of the the function. Let me just check. Uh, you can use move camera and uh, the difference between move camera and animate camera is that move camera uh, will be a blend. Uh, it will just show the map with the zoom. With animate camera, it shows a nice transition, and because of that, I always use animate camera. So now, before we wrap up, let's just add the markers for both the destination and the current and the pickup location. So, uh, a map dot add marker, new marker options dot position pickup location. Uh, pick up let long actually then we are going to set the title of pick up location no need to get fancy here and then we are going to set an icon just to make the distinctions between the two uh, so that it is really easy to distinguish both of them so bitmap description factory this is the code just the way it is and we are going to pick the, the image that we want uh, from resource so for my case I'm going to use a meat map that I have loaded up uh, which is called IC pickup I believe yeah I see pickup okay semicolon at the end and I'm going to just double that up and remove the icon because the destination won't have an icon I'm afraid so yeah let's change the text to destination and destination light long and that's it, so let's just run the app and see if everything turns out okay. Okay, so the app finished loading successfully and now let's go into history and the latest uh, dry, uh, request here that I have and there we go. So as you can see it isn't perfect because the whole route isn't showing but at least the markers are and if we zoom out this would be the perfect one and in order to make it better you could actually get the latitude and longitude of every uh, polyline or point or whatever and then do the um, include that in the builder so that it will also show uh, them but for now this is good enough so yeah that's all for now thank you all very much for watching i hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao yeah, yeah, yeah.